all right guys i think uh, it's all finished up now so went with a gloss white just brush on paint rust-oleum nothing nothing too crazy um i ended up having a sheet of aluminum that i got i had to clean it up quite a bit just because it was super oxidized but so i got that all plasma cutted to kind of fit the engine and there was a it wasn't a full sheet so i kind of had to make do with a couple uh knockouts in it but ended up kind of getting a front lip hopefully uh some sort of light bar and i think i'm gonna wire up uh like a drill battery and a light that can take a little bit higher voltage um so this is kind of uh how i ended up on the brake system this is just a your standard like go-kart caliper and then um i just got kind of a spring that's wrapped around um i did wire up a handlebar kill switch that's one thing i didn't have on the last one that runs up to the handlebars um the plano boxes were on sale i think it was like 15 bucks but got some storage Since having the engine, I did delete the governor and um, the oil sensor switch. And then I just used what it, they had on there for a throttle. So basically it comes with everything. You don't need to buy any special brackets. I mean, they sell a lot of nice ones, but you know, there's a they have a cable clamp right here and then basically a wire tie down right there. Um, and then you can just get creative with your turn spring. Um, so it's kind of the handlebar setup that I have, kind of ran some cable holders all the way along that and then this is just a, basically just all pit bike stuff that I got off of eBay, pretty cheap. Um, this is my heim joint hitch with the uh, spring both ways so it's got a little bit of give when you uh, stop and go. Um, so I didn't end up building the sled. Um, I wanted to try to find something that would follow the path and I was having a hard time last time when I built it, built one to, um, find a sled that fit basically the, the rut of the, um, snowmobile. So I ended up finding one and it was called like a flexible flyer or something like that, but it actually came as a pelican. So as you can see i think it's like 22 inches wide so it's got you got a little bit narrower of a stance but i'd really like to be able to go through as much stuff as possible going through camp um i feel like it, i gotta get used to standing in a narrower sled but this actually works out really good so if anybody's interested in a kind of a narrower sled that fits into the rut um i believe this is actually just called a pelican like trek 60 or something like that um i got it for a hundred bucks shipped it was on sale so i thought that was a really good deal um yeah i don't think there's too much more to go over this was uh basically what i did for my lockout i just got some turn doodads that keep the height and then basically if i ever did want a seat for a long ride I probably won't lock it out. I'll just kind of let this whole thing go free. So, and then you can just take this off and the whole thing folds over to the front. So yeah, everything is uh, greased up and Loctited and never sees. So I'll probably uh, shoot some sh shoot some video of it riding around. See if the gearing's right. I don't exactly remember what I picked. It's been so long, um, but yeah, take it for a ride.